Hello everyone, today I'm excited to showcase the latest batch of STL files available to all you builders out there, the 125th scale MA10 axle with leaf spring suspension set. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with my RC1978 Trans Am project that I've been showcasing on the channel recently. One of the unique aspects of this project is that it's using a leaf spring rear suspension. This is my first small scale project that I'm using leaf springs on. It took a bit of trial and error, but I ended up with something that I'm satisfied with and I wanted to make the files available in their current state for any builders wanting to do something similar. If you haven't already, I would recommend that you go back and check out that build series for more information about this setup. I'll be sure to include a link to the playlist below in the description. Now do keep in mind that this setup is by no means perfect. As I talked about during that build, these PLA 3D printed leaf springs will sag over time and are only going to work for lightweight plastic model car kits and other lightweight bodies. Of course, one of the advantages with 3D printing leaf springs is that just with some subtle changes to the design of the springs, there's pretty much limitless amounts of variables that can be adjusted, such as the shape, thickness, length, placement of the axle, the width, the material used to print them in, and a lot more. One thing that's probably worth pointing out is that this leaf spring setup isn't currently compatible with any of our 3D printable chassis designs. To use this setup, you're going to need to make it a part of either the model kit's chassis piece or a custom built chassis. This first set includes leaf springs identical to the ones that I'm using on the Trans Am, but I'm sure there will be more options available in the future that may be better suited for certain projects. Just like with using coil springs, I'd like to have a variety of leaves to choose from, maybe some a little stiffer than others, so that you can always experiment with them and see which ones work best. Speaking of coil springs, one of the parts that you'll see here is this spring seat. This part is optional, but it allows a nice place to put a coil spring on each end of the axle to work along with the leaf springs. This can help prevent sagging and make the suspension work better all around. There's a lot of possibilities for this setup, but for now, this file set includes a number of parts that should work well for a variety of projects. At this point, I want to go ahead and talk about the files included and show you how to assemble one of these leaf spring rear suspensions. So this setup uses the already well-established MA10 axle assembly. Both 53mm and 57mm width housings are included. You may notice though that unlike previous variations, these axle housings are completely bare, no places for coil springs or suspension links. All of these parts are FDM 3D printable as you can see. I'd certainly recommend using a smaller size nozzle as many of these parts are very small and there are some finer details here and there, but if you can get your settings on your printer dialed in and doing well printing smaller parts, you can print these on your typical hobby FDM printer. I haven't tried 3D printing these leaf springs with a resin printer, but that's yet another thing that I'd like to experiment with in the future. To connect the leaf springs to the axle, you'll need to use one of these axle mounts. More mounting options are being experimented with, but with these, simply push it around the axle like this and then slide it to wherever you need the leaves positioned. To hold it on, use M1 hardware to clamp the mount around the axle. Remember, if you're going to be using a coil spring in conjunction with the leaf springs, make sure that you slide this spring seat in between. By the way, a complete hardware list and links to where that hardware can be purchased can be found on Patreon. If you need to position the axle higher up in the car, just like I did with the Trans Am, taller mounts can be used. The biggest thing is making sure that the left and right side mounts are positioned symmetrically. With the mounts in place, the leaf springs can simply be secured to them with a screw up through the bottom. Next, secure the shackle to the back side of each leaf spring. You can then attach the hangers. The smaller hanger goes in the rear. Make sure that the hangers and shackles can move smoothly. Some sanding may be required and applying a little grease would be a good idea. And that's it as far as the assembly goes. Of course, the spring hangers will need to be secured to the car. That is one of the cool things about these leaf spring suspensions. They're a very simple design, and in a lot of scenarios, they may not be as difficult to integrate as other forms of suspension. 
Compare the process of adding the rear suspension to that Shelby GT350 project I did to that of the 78 Trans Am. No suspension links, no panhard bar, nothing like that. Just get those four mounts in place and that's it. I hope this video was informative. Obviously be on the lookout for more projects using the suspension in the future. More information and the STL files download can be found on Patreon using the link below in the description. Expect more parts and variations to come in the future, but for now, here's a nice setup to get you rolling on your next project. If you ever need custom sized springs or something else modified, please send us a message as we may be able to modify the design to best fit your project. Of course, stay tuned for more updates on the 78 Trans Am build. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that rear suspension performs, especially with some serious brushless power. It should certainly be interesting. But that's all for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.